and both of them reigned over their kingdom in peace and happiness. Welcome back. We are 38 days into the longing. Time flies, and he should, in fact, be reading more. We've got um, a couple of things I want to look into today, now that we're this far in. Um, for one, I want to see if the spider web is built, so off you go, pal, get walking. Um, once we've done that, I'm hoping we're going to have time to also look into the uh, the pool, which should have filled up by now, hopefully. Um, honestly, losing the mattock sucks. But knowing that there is another one out there that we may be able to gain access to at some point does sort of give me a little bit of a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope for the future. So what we uh, what we're gonna hope for is that we'll gain access to that today. But we might we might not we might not. And if we don't, never mind. You know, I mean, I don't think the magic was actually gaining as much beyond the ability to harvest crystals. Um. And obviously we could take big, big swings at the uh, the glass, but I, I don't know if that ever would have achieved anything. I don't know if it would have just been a case of I make another scratch mark on the glass. And even if it's like the pixel perfect lined up location of the previous one, it still wouldn't actually achieve anything. I don't know. So um, I'm certainly, if I ever do get the other matter, which I'm hoping I will eventually, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go in swinging this time. Um, but beyond that, mm. <laughs> I'm hoping we're going to see some cool stuff. I'm hoping um, the the fun new spider web and the, the splashy splashy pool are going to open up something for us, even if it isn't a pneumatic. Just give us access to something new because yeah, we're, we're getting kind of um, we've seen these halls a lot. We've seen these stairways many many times at this point we need to uh, continue our investigations continue collecting stuff in order to make time go faster seems to be the primary goal of this I guess like you can just not play this game at all right you can start it up once wait 400 days and come back but in doing all these little side quests, we make time go faster when he's in his house, so... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have to say on that, on that subject. Uh, I, sh I feel like I should have prepped some, <laughs> some subjects to talk about today. Um, here's some YouTuber guy died. That's a uh, too mad guy. I don't know, he was... He, I'd seen a couple of his bits and pieces, seen him on a couple of things before. He's, he's very Zuma humor. I, I I didn't really get his whole shtick, but so, sad that he died, I guess. I guess that sucks. Um, it's like 23 or something. It's kind of kind of young to be to be dying, to be shuffling off this mortal coil. Um, so you know, sad. Some stuff apparently came out about him after he died, which you know. Uh, probably not a great person but it sounded like he had some serious like mental health issues and stuff so you know you you never want to excuse stuff like that like obviously if you're in that position and you're having to deal with people like making death threats at you and stuff then yeah obviously you're not going to have a great deal of sympathy for them if they if they pop their clogs but like from an outsider's perspective like you can sort of see the uh You, you can sort of see the uh, general badness of it. That's definitely not the word I was looking for there, but god damn it. I, I could not find shit there. I um, don't know if anything else has been happening on the internet lately. Honestly, I've been staying off Twitter quite a bit recently, which has been pretty good for me. Um, I'm actually uh, on holiday this week. I'm actually, oh, you know, on holiday. I'm at home, but I'm uh, not... Uh, not in work for a week just taking some time to chill you know um so videos every day that's pretty cool right that's pretty exciting but it also means that because i've not been commuting that means i've not just been staring blankly at twitter on my phone quite so much so uh yeah i'm, I'm, I'm kind of out the loop on a lot of internet drama and stuff which is honestly 
I'm fine with. <laughs> I'm cool with that, you know. I'll take some time to just read a book or, you know, delve into a video game I've never played. Just, just something to escape from real life for a few days. I don't know, maybe I'll just remove... I was going to say remove the app. I don't even have the, the Twitter app. But I'm going to just remove the bookmark from my phone because... Uh, Twitter's just not good for anyone, frankly. You know, it's not at all. I don't really gain anything from it aside from knowledge of what's happening on the internet. And uh, honestly, better off not knowing most of the time. And now uh, I've been... Uh, I wouldn't say I've been making good use of my time off, but I completed uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, that's the one, Brilliant Diamond. Which, my god, that is a slow game. Like, I've I've never completed Gen 4 games before. I've got... I think I've got to, to the Elite Four. Like, I've got to the gates of the Elite Four on a, on Platinum or one of them. Um, and then just sort of not finished it. So it was nice to actually finally say I've completed that uh, generation of games. Even if it was through a, a remake. But honestly, like, those remakes are fucking rough. Like, I mean, I've got no problem with it being a faithful remake. I've got no problem with the art style, particularly. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I, I think they did add some cool stuff to the Grand Underground in that you can now, like, catch a load of additional Pokemon down there and stuff. Like, I, I, I don't think it's the worst game I've ever played or anything, but holy shit, those games are slow. Like, by, by the time I'd reached the Elite Four, I'd reached... I'd gained happiness enough on every single one of my Pokemon that basically every turn they would just waste like a solid five six seconds just going they're looking at you expectantly they're looking to be praised like every single turn they would they would do a pointless little like quip like that that does nothing but waste time like i'm all for trying to implement things that make you um relate to your pokemon more and like to sort of display the bond you built between yourself and your, your your pets or whatever, like, cool, great, but that's not the way to do it. It just slows down an already incredibly slow battle system, and ugh, Jesus Christ, man, it was a struggle. It was especially a struggle because I was doing an all-bug team as well. Like, yeah, my first time ever completing the game, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to give myself a challenge. <laughs> so, uh, I mean... I was trying to be a good boy and like build successful strategies for all of my Pokemon, but unfortunately most of them were useless. Um, so my entire Elite Four strategy was basically set up uh, Sticky Web with Krikatoon, swap into Scyther. Not Sizzle, couldn't get a Sizzle, but just a Scyther, which is fine because they've got pretty good stats anyway. Um, set up like one or two Swords Dances and then sweep with aerial ice because it was technician so it was, it was pretty good um and that got me through the elite four you know, everyone was saying oh cynthia is like a really really hard boss fight and everything i mean she's not really if you just press aerial ace on a buffed side there <laughs> does the trick just fine honestly <laughs> um it, it was cool though that all the elite four members had like hold items and stuff that were you know focus sashes and berries and you know leftovers i was looking for leftovers in that game couldn't find them couldn't find them anywhere it's really annoying uh but the elite four had about six of them <laughs> fuck those guys man why do they get all the cool items but yeah i've, I've successfully successfully completed uh every gen of pokemon now because gen 4 was the only one i've never finished i don't know it's just it's a slog like i know a lot of people say that uh Platinum, specifically, less diamond and pearl. A lot of people admit they have flaws, but they say that Platinum, like, fix most of those flaws and that it's, like, the best game. I don't find that. I find it to be a real slog. There's so many, like, ridiculously long stretches of just trainers and trainers and trainers and trainers. Like, you, you, like um, when you have to go through Mount Coronet and then up through the snowfields up towards the, is it 6th or 7th gym? I can't remember which one. Um... It's just a solid wall of trainers. You got to do like fifty fights in a row, and like, it wasn't difficult, but it was just a slog. Like, break it up a bit. Give me a little bit of puzzle solving in there. Give me some changing changes of environment. Give me anything, you know. 
Yeah, well, it, it doesn't do it for me, honestly, Gen 4. I think my favourite is probably... Actually, really hard to say, because I like Gen 2 a lot for the nostalgia, and I, I just generally like the openness of um, those first two gens, and how you can take a lot of things in different orders, but I do think that p plays into its detriment in that, like, particularly in Gen 2, where, like, gyms 4, 5, 6, and 7 are all the same level. <laughs> like, you can tackle these in any order, so therefore they're all going to be easy. <laughs> um, but I also like Gen 5 a lot. I mean, that's the one I did the Nuzlocke on recently. Um, I think it just has a stronger story. It has some really dramatic moments in it. And uh, while uh, it is a lot more linear than what I generally like, um, thank you, friend. Yeah, I, I, I do think the areas are pretty distinctive and everything. There's, there's spectacles, you know, in Gen 5. I like that quite a lot for that. Also, just that it had the balls to um, just use an entire new roster of Pokemon, not fall back on Pikachu and Charizard again, you know. I don't like all of those Pokemon, but at least they're taking risks with it. Mushroom. I'll handle it with the utmost care. Oh, it glows in the dark. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'll tell you why I'm not going to eat it. It's because in his book, he said he wanted to grow like a, a mushroom garden. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can only carry one at a time or else I just eat it. Mushroom is glowing in the dark. Okay, well, I'm just going to try and carry this all the way back home without accidentally right-clicking in the process. That might be difficult, actually, if I'm going to go through the water zone, because there'll probably be things I want to interact with. This is nice, though. I like the music. I like the... Uh, phosphorescent mushrooms are just the coolest thing. Man, they really are. Like, uh, my favourite... By a long shot, my favourite zone in World of Warcraft will always be Zangamash. Just this, like, big mushroom forest thing. I, I just really enjoy that aesthetic a lot. Wish, uh... Wish there was more of it. It's not exactly a rare... Um... Environmental style. You do see it in games fairly regularly, but... It's not quite on the level of the sewer, or the volcano, or whatever, you know, it is like, it is slightly more niche. It's not quite so much of a trope as, as certain other, uh, certain other area concepts are. And it's just always, like, always really pretty. Like, even in this game where it's just like, here's a few mushrooms on a wall, like, it, it does a lot, right? It, it carries it a lot. Oh, different mushrooms. Knowing I can only carry one at a time, though, concerns me a little bit. Some of these mushrooms seem to have grown quite immense. Uh, it disappeared. Mushroom is slowly regrowing here. Okay. I don't know, I felt like maybe if I plump on there, something cool would happen. Okay, we can matic through this if we had one. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to come back here again some more then, aren't we? It's a lot darker around here now I don't have my mushroom anymore. There were others I could pick, so I figured I'd just empty my hands while I did the rest of the exploring and then grab one on the way back. That feels like it made makes sense to me. Just in case I accidentally eat one again. No, go up. I will never master this. I swear to God, I will never. I will never get a handle on how to do this shit. Getting further and further away from the king, maybe it's time to head home and read a nice book. Nope. Nope, we're exploring today, pal. The king's fine, he doesn't need your uh, supervision. Just chilling in his basement. Oh, it's real dark over here, isn't it? 
Is this a dead end? I can't actually tell. Uh, another place to use the mattock. Well, I've um, really screwed the pooch on that one, haven't I? All these possibilities that we could have had. All these wonders we could have beheld. And I was greedy. Man's greatest foible. Money. My goal was to get rich or die trying and... Um, I've successfully achieved neither, I've just achieved minor disappointment. Uh, there's another Matic place, okay. So we've got three locations up here that we can get digging through. One day. There's also something about using the Matic to extend my home, so I assume I can, I can do a little bit of digging in his uh, in his room as well. And you know, getting more crystals would have been a thing as well, make the place more uh, more to his liking. He's a big fan of crystals, so could have done a lot with that matic. Instead, we'll live forever in the shadow of our mistakes. There is no redemption for Mr. Shade. Willingly broke the mattock, knowing full well that there was nothing to be gained in doing so. What's over here? Hopefully not another dead end that we have to dig through with a mattock we don't have. Hopefully. A man can dream. I'm not going to hold out too much hope, but a man can dream. More mushrooms. Oh, green mushroom. Okay, we'll take the green mushroom. This one doesn't glow in the dark, unfortunately. It's not quite as cool as the purple one. But... It was slightly harder to reach, and therefore it must be important. I wonder if the green mushrooms taste is just as good as the other ones. Well, there's a few of them, so you know what? You can eat one. Go for it. Oh. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't like the green mushroom. Good to know. Good to know. It's almost tempting to eat multiple and just see what happens, <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm not so foolish. This is, uh, it's not saying so because I've got the eat mushroom prompt forever glued onto my screen, but this is another place to use the matic. I can, I can smell it. So basically, we've not really unlocked much up here. We've, we've gained access to a couple of fun new mushrooms which I will try to uh, successfully escort back home. Um, but beyond that, all we really have is four places that we could, we could, in theory, go digging, but we can't actually go digging. And this mushroom's coming home with me, though. I don't care what it takes. This is my special baby. You'll grow up big and strong. Oh, I guess we're walking backwards again now. So, um, we have a... Oh, we can quick walk back to uh, here at least, can't we? Go. I say quick walk, it's still pretty fucking slow, but at least I'm not having to do it myself. <laughs> At least I get to be hands off in this scenario. Not have to try and guide him along splitting paths, which is, as previously established, the hardest part of this game. 
I wonder what a speedrun of this game would look like. Just, just, just realizing that there is like specific tech to walking up and down slopes. Um, there is a certain skill involved in there. Makes me immediately wonder how how someone might speedrun a game like this. Like obviously there is ways of doing it, right? You'd clock your, no, you wouldn't clock your in-game time because then the optimal route would just be to start the game turn it off immediately, wait 400 days, come back in again. You would clock your total days spent. Like how long it took in actual real life to get from starting the playthrough and finishing the playthrough. But the speedrun would still be probably at least a month long, probably longer. And you'll be shaving, like, seconds from, like, perfectly manoeuvring round split paths and stuff. Like, off a speedrun of months. <laughs> I can't see anyone bringing this one to GDQ, you know? <laughs> Alright, everyone, buckle in. We've got a, a long road ahead of us. Gonna show you some real cool maneuvers though. <laughs> the additional weight in the mushroom, I won't be able to climb the web without breaking it, and I don't want to be rude to my spidery friend. Yeah, okay, I get that. I get you don't want to be rude to your spidery friend. But I really want to get this mushroom home. Oh, he just. He just won't do it. Hang on. That might be specific to the green mushroom. I'm going to go grab the other mushroom. See if we can bring that one back. Because there was definitely a thing that was like... Cultivate mushrooms. It may, it may not have meant in my house, to be fair. I feel like it did, though. I feel like it did mean that. If we can't, if we literally can't climb back down with the mushroom. Then how the fuck would we ever... Uh, I guess maybe maybe we could matic through the wall and that'll give us a shortcut back down without using the spider web. I guess maybe that's that's how it works. It's another matic thing. Yeah, it's probably the most likely uh, most likely result, honestly. Really wish I planted that green mushroom like right here instead of eating it accidentally. That would have been far more useful. Having one that I don't have to trek quite so far to get to. God, we really need to get that second matic though. I don't know how we're going to get it is the problem. Because it's in like a location that isn't accessible. Okay, pal. Alright. Can we... No, I guess you're just going to eat it. Fair enough. Fair enough, you do you. I was trying to get him to um, to plant it, but he, he only had the eat prompt. I guess maybe it has to be a certain... Like, only certain places you can plant it, I guess. Oh, well. Let us go, indeed. Let us go, truly. Um, should still have time... I imagine today to have a little look at uh, what is the other side of the little paddling pool. I can't imagine it'll be a lot. Maybe I'll be wrong. I've been wrong before. But uh, it feels like it's more likely to just be like a couple of rooms, a fun thing to interact with, and then we'll be on our way. That's usually how these things go, I think.
should uh, probably have made a um, a checkpoint up there. I wouldn't have to manually walk back up through these caves again. Too late now. I mean, I, I could make one here, which would sh shave some of the time off, but I'm not gonna. All or nothing, baby. <laughs> <sighs> so, 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 so. I'd love to report on anything else exciting that's been happening recently, but there isn't anything, to be honest. Not much to talk about right now. I'm well on the way to uh, doing another one of my discography ranking videos. Um, I just find uh, sort of forcing myself to dig through a discography of a artist that, you know, particularly if it's um, some stuff that I'm not super familiar with, it's an artist that I am quite familiar with, but I haven't really paid much attention to the back half of their discography. I only know the earlier stuff. So, um, yeah, it, it's nice to sort of see things in a new light, to sort of try and critique them a little bit more objectively, I guess. I mean, obviously, there's always subjectivity when it comes to do I like thing, but... Um, yeah, it's 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 fun. It's a fun project. Um, and it's a cool, to, a cool way to get myself listening to more music as well, because I used to be a big music nerd. I still am to a degree, but I don't know. I guess I've not really been as engrossed these last few years. Um, and it's a shame because it's it's always been like a a facet of media that's really meant a lot to me. So um, yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna keep this up. I think I've got a few um, a few bands and artists that I want to dig into the discographies of that uh, I haven't really listened to much before like give myself an opportunity to really like get into some new music as well and by new music i don't necessarily mean new music because for the most part i want to do these discography recap things on um on artists that have fairly sizable discographies so obviously who have been around a while uh mostly just because it you know makes for a slightly meatier video and gives me a bit more satisfaction in completing the project i guess like if i'm just listening to a band who's got two albums and i'm like yeah okay that was cool i guess <laughs> six minute video and then be done with my life like uh, yeah that i'd rather have something i can really sink my teeth into but yeah as if there's a few ideas i've got spinning around for ones i want to look into obviously um i'm taking suggestions as well if you listening right now have a favorite band or artist that you want me to uh if you have a little look into, then uh, you can go nuts, man. Go nuts. Especially if it's something a little bit more obscure and, as I say, a fairly sizable um, discography on them. Then we can go for it. My opinions are generally pretty bad, but <laughs> that doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to share them. So, I'm trying to remember what the uh, quickest route to the the water pool is from here. I know it's left, I'll tell you that much, but... How much left and where? Shouldn't be too hard to find, I don't think. As I say, the 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 palace at least. I mean, the outside areas are getting quite big, but the palace at least isn't actually massive. It has quite a few screens that just sort of send you in circles almost. They just all interlock with each other and everything. So um, it gives the illusion of being bigger than it is, but you generally know more than like five or six screens away from anywhere you actually want to be for the most part. And jump. Gonna do it? Yeah. There we go. 
Yeah, that's actually the second Matic, isn't it? The first Matic isn't actually marked on the map, it doesn't look like. The big crystal chamber is, but... Yeah. Would you go down? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, like... A lot of what this game has to offer I'm completely on board with, but god damn, these controls can be an absolute fucking pain in the arse sometimes. Like, did no one test them? <laughs> or did the person testing them just have the knack? Just have a, have their brain wired the right way, I guess, to know exactly what pixel you need to be stood on in order to uh, know whether you're going to walk flat or walk up a staircase or whatever, you know? Like, because it's uh, not clicking for me. Uh, up here? Up here, I think? I think this is right. I mean, it's left, but it's right. You know what I mean? I hate the English language. <laughs> Why is it the way it is? Why do we have so many words that mean the same thing in different contexts? Or different things in the same context? Or different things in different contexts, I guess, is the... The, the the thing I'm actually trying to say there, but I'll just keep saying whatever the hell I feel like, honestly. Because this is my channel, goddammit. I can be as much of a dumb fuck as I like and you can't stop me. Ooh, moss. Just thinking to myself, you know? Really use more moss right now. I only got 21. Let's make that a much larger... That was coal. You say so. Look like moss to me, but... Need to work out how to make a bed. I know that is a thing we can do. He keeps hinting about it. I don't know, maybe we need to matic out a new room first before we can put a bed in it. I guess that might be the issue. We'll enter door in a second. I just want to just want to do this. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. New things. Excitement. Or it will be exciting as soon as we finish collecting all this moss. And my priorities right. <laughs> This has got to be adequate now, right? They said a month. It's been 38 days. Th 37 and 6 hours, whatever. No month is that long. Climb. 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 Hey! Thank you, little droplet. Are you as excited as I am about what might lie beyond this door? It could be anything. It could be a party in my honour. Or it could be a big door. I swear to God if this is locked. I swear to God. It might be the back entrance to the library, actually. This might be how we get into the library. Let me just see if there's anything over here first real quick. Real quick. Is it going to be one of those doors that takes two hours to open again? I bet it is, isn't it? Bet it fucking is. This looks like the entrance of the library. I can't wait to see what it holds. And it's opening relatively quickly. Okay. Just got to... I mean, relatively quickly. <laughs> there we go. Everything's relative. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Library! Look at all these books! 
we take them all? A book. One day these pages will crumble to dust. I just hope I get the chance to read them first. Fuck yeah. I mean, this library isn't a million miles from home. We, we could theoretically just come here to read, but he'd rather collect things and bring them back to his place, which I guess is fine. I do that too. I'm also a bit of a hoarder. This is so many books. Holy fuck. We were running out. Well, we basically had run out of books to read. No longer the case, it seems. Suddenly, we have a whole fucking wealth. I wonder if there's going to be any more classics in here. I'd love it if this game just doubled up as, like, a collection of actual books. You know? There's some Treasure Island in there, some Pride and Prejudice. Some... So you get the Odyssey. That's one I've wanted to read for a while. War and Peace. I know, I'm just naming books. <laughs> I mean, there's all going to be public domain stuff, right? It's all going to be books that are like over 100 years old. I very much doubt they've licensed actual books. <laughs> like, actual books, you know what I mean. Like, I, I doubt they've got fucking Song of Ice and Fire in here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wonder how they... Do you think someone actually just sat and typed it up? Uh, they probably found an online PDF or whatever, didn't they? And just copy-pasted it in. I imagine that's how they did it. Silly thing for me to say. I don't know, for a second there, I was just like... How did they get all the words from a book into their video game? <laughs> how did they manage that? And all these books. What a treasure trove. Well, the dude kept saying he wanted to read more. Now he absolutely can. That is 19 books he now has, up from 6. Hell yeah, dude. I think that's it for here. I think that's everything. So, um, I guess we will immediately start heading home. So, the question now becomes, when do we return to this game? Because we no longer have anything to wait for. Everything that we've been... Everything time-based that we know has been sort of tangled before us has now expired. We've seen everything that that has to offer. Which makes me wonder if there is any more time-based stuff or if everything now is technically available to me. The question then becomes, how the fuck do we get the second Matic? It didn't look super accessible, but I don't know how it will become accessible. It's not like when we were in the room with the second, second Matic, there was like a a bit of floor or something that was like, this looked like it might cave in in a month or so, you know, it, there was just no sort of real guidance as to how we might get that. I guess next time, we, we will leave this a week or so, um, and next time we tune back in, I think we'll head back up there again and see if we can thoroughly investigate that that mining area. Establish any sort of theory on how we might get at that pneumatic because it sounds like we're going to need that for anything at this point. We want to extend our home, we want to dig into those extra tunnels, we want to harvest some crystals. And we're not going to be able to do any of that unless we have some form of mining implement. I do like that he's recognised his home. For all 
all the other ones when he says something it's just like oh I wonder if anything has changed there or whatever but when we specifically send him home he has a unique uh, sentence to say about that I don't know if I should have bookmarked the library while we were there, but I, I, I don't see that we're going to need to go back. Like, it's not like more books are going to grow, is it? Like, <laughs> they're, uh, they're very much a one-time thing, it feels like. I don't know whether we found all the books now. 19 would be a very weird number. You would expect there to be 20 at least, right? We've only found one, I believe, outside of um, outside of the library. All the other books just started. They were starter baby books for babies. Need to be a hardcore gamer like me to find all these ones. Truly tested my uh, my skill to the limit. Testing my patience, I guess. Which is a skill of sorts. A lot of people drop off this game before they get as far as I am. I don't know, I did get an achievement for for uh, discovering the library. I'll see how big a percentage of people achieve that. This isn't the direction I expected him to walk, but I guess he knows the quickest route better than I do. Uh, I suppose this does make sense. Bring you in from the left door in the, the three junction back at the start. Not immediately, you have to go through a couple more screens yet, but... Yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm assuming... Most of what we need to do now is going to be Matic focused. I do wonder if there is anything in the white void. Just because there was, um, in his little diary, there was an objective that we hadn't crossed out yet to sort of explore that area. And as much as it would fucking suck to spend like 20 minutes walking to the right in that zone and then not find anything and then have to walk 20 minutes back again and that would be an entire video as much as that would suck there is a curiosity right there is an innate curiosity when it comes to something that is labeled as endless because you know in a in a real world sense nothing is endless right there's always got to be something at the end of the tunnel even if it's just a dead end Turns you back again. I don't know if this game is... Obviously it's fantastical, but I don't know if it's fantastical enough to have something so utterly ungrounded in reality like that. I, I don't know. Also, it's just like a needlessly harsh punishment, especially since time doesn't pass in that zone. It feels needlessly harsh to be like... To allow a player to just walk for like eight hours and then have to walk eight hours back again. Or else their game is just fucked, you know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously we, we the gamer would do that to ourselves, but... And I have no intention of committing eight hours to it, don't get me wrong, but... You know, 10-15 minutes maybe, just to... Because nothing, there's not going to be anything further out than that, surely. We spent a couple minutes, I would say, walking to the right and walking back again. I think maybe they would test my patience more than that. But... I can't imagine it would be, like, an insane amount of time. Like a Operation Desert Bus or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> amount of time where you literally have to commit an entire day to walking to the right or whatever because that's that's just while this game obviously doesn't 
constrain itself with normal game design principles that is so antithetical to what makes a game in any way enjoyable that I, I can't imagine anyone would do it outside of for a joke like Operation Desert Bus is it just called it's just called Desert Bus right Operation Desert Bus was like the charity drive thing they did with the game I, I can't remember but to those unfamiliar basically Desert Bus is a game where you just drive in real time between two cities in the in the um, United States and you literally just need to occasionally steer your bus to keep on the road or else it slowly drifts off for like eight it is literally like eight ten hours to complete the game that's it just going in a straight line for, for that long <laughs> and uh, yeah it's a meme game i think it was pen and teller sponsored it or whatever you know it was like a literally made as a joke but Yeah. Look at all those books now, though. Look at them all. Uh, we're just going to do our drawing real quick first, though. Haven't done one to commemorate today. What, do, what are we feeling for today? What are we feeling? Bit of blue and black. Oh, yeah. Can we? I like this one. We want a mushroom to commemorate our, our time spent eating mushrooms today. So that feels good. The others haven't really commemorated anything. <laughs> They've just been a drawing. But, um. Yeah, this one, uh. This one will forever remind us of the time we spent eating mushrooms and not being able to carry them down spider webs. Truly a time to be alive. Yeah, I don't know if we need to find, like, sheet music or something for this thing. Because he, he can't play tunes on it. All he does is just play the same note over and over again. But there was something about him saying he wanted to learn to play his favourite song in his little journal. Part of me is hoping that one of these books is going to contain sheet music, and if I allow him time to read it, he will then be able to play a song on the on the thing. Whatever instrument that is. Saxophone, I guess. Um, but I don't think it's going to be quite that straightforward. There we go. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. We need to find yellow as well. That's a thing that's still, uh, still a thing. I just want to come over here real quick and just check said he wanted to extend his home. I'm assuming if we go all the way to the left here. Yeah, we can use Matic. I thought so. Interesting. Interesting to note. On fire. Beautiful. Crispy. Crackly. And now we will finish. What do you want to read? Look at... Oh, there's more... Uh, Volumes of the Spoke Zarathustra. How exciting. Is there anything I recognize here? Not really. Okay. Um oh the Raven, that's a that's the uh Poe poem, right? Yeah. That's only eight pages though. I want something that's gonna keep him busy for a while. Like this Nieblungen lead. This looks thoroughly fucking boring. Read that. Read that for 839 pages, and I will see you in about a week. And I'll see you too, viewer. Yeah, you. <laughs> You're the one I'm talking to now. I'm no longer acknowledging my shade. I'm talking to you personally. Be back here in a week. Or else, alright? Yeah, you better. Bye. <laughs>